Hello, this is Pastor Laura Cavendish. I serve at St. Paul Lutheran Church, a little north of Asheville, Ohio. Um, hello to everyone who's gathered for some story time today. Um, I have two books today. I have two because they are books aimed at um, probably under five-year-olds. Um, we all enjoy books, though, no matter what age we are. And they remind us about how safe we can feel around a loving parent, um, a caretaker, um, a mom, a dad, a grandma, or a grandpa who um, just help us feel like we are safe enough to fall asleep sometimes and safe enough to get through things that scare us. So... Um, one of the things that we believe is that God is that kind of parent for us. Jesus prays, um, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name in the Lord's Prayer. And he uses that address to Jesus of Abba, which is like Daddy. Um, so when we feel safe and embraced by our mommy or our daddy or Grammy or Grandpa, or um, that special someone who shows us love, then um, we're getting a glimpse of how Jesus is loved and did love um, his Father in heaven. So um, let's get to our stories. We have one that's a lullaby book, end of the day book, and the other is about those things we um, treasure that help us feel safe. And oftentimes they've been given to us by that loving parent to help us feel safe. So the first book is Hush Little One, a lullaby for God's children. And it's written by Anita Reith Stowes and illustrated by John Kanzeer. Many folks have this in their library because it was one of those freebies given out um, to thrivent folks. Um, it is a book that can be read and it can also be sung. I'm going to try out the singing. Um, it'll be a slow pace, but oftentimes when we're singing lullabies to children, we want to slow it down so that they also are slowing down. All right, here we go. There's the hush little one. And there, see you, and this is an end of the day. Hush little one, don't say a word. All your prayers by Jesus are heard. Now it's time to climb into bed and lay down your sleepy head. Of the darkness have no fear, Jesus our Savior is always near. He who died and rose again now forgives our every sin. Angels sent from heaven above, watch over you with eyes of love. As the sun sinks in the west, his little creatures stop to rest. Far in the forest, a small shy deer snuggles to sleep with her mother dear. Deep in a burrow, small bunnies creep close to their mother and fall asleep. Inside the barn on soft, fresh hay, a newborn calf ends its very first day. High in a tree no chirp is heard, 
from inside a nest of slumbering birds. Curled on her rug, your mama cat purrs, a last lullaby to those kittens of hers. And for you, my little one, the time to sleep has also come. Close your eyes and go to sleep. Jesus, your soul will safely keep. He is with you through the night. Till the dawn of morning light. And then this book ends, if it happens to be in your possession or you ever get it, with tips for putting your little one to bed. Our next book is called Parachute. And here is the star of this book, way up high. And this is written by Danny Parker and Matt Otley, I'm pretty sure, is the illustrator. So, thank you to Pickaway County Library System for making sure I could get a hold of this book, which someone else had recommended. So there we are in that cover page. And see who's up there? Beloved Kitty, and that will become part of this book. And here's another illustration of jumping around with your parachute on. Just really cute. All right. Toby always wore a parachute. It was most useful. For getting out of bed in the morning. Look at that big adventure. Cool. For when he finished breakfast. There he is climbing down out of his breakfast chair. This is the other thing that's so charming about this book. You get to look at things from a kid's perspective. There he is. And after he brushed his teeth. There's his friend, the kitty. His parachute shoot made him feel safe. On the swings. And the seesaw. And the slide. Or whenever danger might strike. There he is at the zoo. The treehouse was high, and Henry was even higher. So there's Kitty up in the tree. We saw that earlier. And there's the treehouse. The ladder swung as Toby clambered up. He didn't look down. Oh my goodness, look at that. It is. Come on, Henry, called Toby as he reached the branch. Don't be scared, said Toby as he put out his hand. They are really working so hard. Just keep calm. He's getting his parachute ready. Little by little, Henry floated to the ground and was safe. And there he is taking off in the parachute. Suddenly, Toby was alone. Come on, Toby, he said to himself. There's nothing to be afraid of, he said as he held on tight. Just try to keep calm.
little by little. There he is up there with flying animals, little by little. Starts his way down step by step. Toby climbed down and was safe. As time passed, Toby needed his parachute less and less. And one day, he left it behind. And so, I want us to remember that um, our God who loves us wants us to feel a sense of safety too. And it is when we feel safe that we have the courage to do some wonderful things like save kitties that are up in the tree and keep moving forward with our lives. So I want to encourage parents that whatever you are doing to develop that sense of safety and well-being in your child is really helping them to grow up to be those who can be courageous and who can trust that the world is safe and that they are loved. So it is good work you do as you help with that basic need. We'll see you Thursday. Bye-bye.